people who are Remainers and liberals who would say, my ATC is now being xenophobic. No, no, no. Talking about the culture because of the state that they have. And, of course, the actual government who hates us, Iranian government, the CCP in China. I'm going to call them Soviets in Russia, the Soviet mentality of Russian government from Putin. These people who are trying their best to destroy the West, and, of course, I'm not saying this to defend the CIA or MI6 because they're not the good guys either, but we just have to be objective. We have a different enemy. These guys, Green New Deal Rising, developed this video, and I'm going to be analysing this video. We've grown up in a time of crisis. Austerity. The pandemic. Climate collapse. Floods destroy lives from Doncaster to Dhaka. We see police brutality in Baltimore and Brixton. All right, so, basically they were going to talk about the police. This is the problem we have. This group, the Green New Deal Rising, whatever it is, these guys who try to say that we, the only thing we care about is uh, the climate change issue. They don't. They really don't care about that. They said, they started the video by saying austerity, which, by the way, I, I, just check your calendar. Check the year, post-2007-2008 recession and the semi-austerity program that we had from the coalition years that ended years ago. Not only it ended, it genuinely ended because we are now spending and borrowing more money and creating, raising taxes. Then they started talking about, Proust, about police brutality in terms of the racist, racial issues, which has nothing to do with climate change. Corporations run scared or side with the corporations. Billionaires profit from our planet's destruction. Even our oceans are burning. This is no accident. The system is designed this way. It's built to exploit. It feeds on apathy. Who cares? We do. We write... This is the biggest issue I have. I've, I've, I've been in politics for over 10 years now. In party politics and media. I've noticed this slight shift in terms of appetite and ideologies. It used to be the left that recent times that was just anti-establishment, anti-everything, anti-government, anti-capitalism, anti-everything. There was this slight crossover in terms of the right and left in terms of corporations and big governments, anything big and corrupt. The issue that we have, these videos are brainwashing every single person from left and right because of course there will be certain people on the right or so-called right who would say, well I agree, exploitation happens, especially from the big corporations and big evil individuals, the, you know, the Marvel villains and your Thanases and all the others. Um, at the same time, considering that these guys, the Green New Deal people sort of type, say, we're going to make a video about climate change. We're, we're also going to be talking about BLM and we're going to talk about the bankers and capitalism. Ironically, they were talking about certain corporations, including Virgin, including Amazon and the others, and Microsoft, you'll see in a minute, who are actually on their side. These people are not on the capitalist side. Just because Bill Gates and the certain others, like Bill Gates, the capitalist people, are capitalists, doesn't mean they are on the side of the free market. They are powerful and rich and have their corporations, but they are very much in favour of lobbying the government, creating subsidies, having government nationalising things for the sake of the environment and protecting the vulnerable, which is absolutely stupid because it's, that's not what they really want to do. What we want to do is try to protect the vulnerable. What we want to do is use genuine free market solutions, not corporatist, corporatist mentality, not big governments. We just want to make sure that we have a safety net for the vulnerable, where we protect small business and individuals who want to have a job, who want to get on with life, to have the freedom to do it, and the government doesn't tell them what to do. Uh, thanks again for watching, everyone. Uh, before I actually sign off, I want to say a massive thank you to all the new members and subscribers of this new channel, the new website that we have, um, because it's all thanks to you guys that we can actually continue the work. Um, as you probably noticed, even the short versions that we post on YouTube, we have to kind of be subtle. I can't really post the whole thing, or I have to sometimes self-edit or self-censor, unfortunately. Otherwise, this platform would not allow us to post the long version. If you want to, want to watch the full version and unedited, go to myatc.co.uk. Not only you get access to the daily shows, uh, but also you get access to the daily news articles that we update throughout the day, but also much more in terms of the chat forums that we have. 
And big news that I have, especially for those of you who are already members of the new channel, is that we are now finally reintroducing Discord. Uh, we are going to have our own private Discord at this time with no guidelines, no censorship, because it's going to be a private Discord for only the members of the new channel. So definitely check out myitc.co.uk if you want to watch everything that you want to see, but also support independent media to counter the mainstream media narrative. And I'll see you on the other side.